If we could work this out, I would love to work it out. Genesee County Treasurer Deborah Cherry knows the tale of a man who paid property taxes on the wrong house. Problem is, she tells us her hands are tied. We, by law, or by state treasury direction and various case laws, are not to refund property taxes that have been paid voluntarily. Thursday at 11, we told you how Mark Bonto and his partner Deanna mistakenly paid property taxes for someone else. He wanted us to ask the tough questions, claiming the county isn't doing anything to help him. You just heard the Genesee County Treasurer say there's no legal action she can take. She tells us one of Bonto's best options is to contact the property owners who caught the unexpected break. You know, it's a little, little funny. You go into people's houses, hey, I guess what I did for you. Merry Christmas. Bonto thinks this is something the county should do, not him. I don't think the people are going to come out and say, yeah, here's the uh, check for $1,755, um, $1,755 um, that we got for free um, back to you. I don't think. Now, people might be a little bit more honest than that, I would hope. We came here to the property that actually received the money. We went to the front door, we went to the side door, and knocked. It appeared as if people were inside, but no one came to the door. For his part, Bonto thinks that's the wrong avenue to take. He insists the county can fix the mess that he admits he made rather easily. I know you can take that those funds and you can allocate them over here and you can do something. You know, we're, we're mincing a lot of laws and words and stuff, but everybody knows what the right thing is. So, Getting back to Cherry, she says at this point, Bonto is on the hook for the property taxes he still owes telling us he has to figure out what he'll do to correct his mistake. If it needs to go to court for some clarification, well then that's what he has to decide. Asking the tough questions in Flint, James Felton, WNEM TV5.